Okay, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. I'm going to show you how to transfer your designs from a CD, or using the same process from anywhere on your computer, to your removable disk, to your flash drive. Um, so you're going to be able to, at the end of this video, take a group of designs and put them into a folder of your own making on the, the, the flash drive, the removable disk. Um, so let's begin. For this example, I'm going to be using a Dakota Collectibles CD. Um, not all design CDs come exactly this way, so you might have to do a little bit of figuring on your own, uh, but this should definitely help you out. Um, and I know a lot of you have a lot of Dakota designs anyway, um, so this exact process will work with, uh, with most Dakota designs. Okay, so the first step, I'm going to open my CD drive and put the CD in. So I'm going to hitting the button putting the disk in and closing my CD drive and now I'm just gonna patiently wait for something to happen still waiting okay here we go so the autoplay comes up and this is what should happen by default um, in uh, Windows XP and Windows Vista Windows 7 I assume Windows 8 although I don't have Windows 8 so um, your guess is as good as mine if it does. I, I'm sure it does though. Uh, anyway, this autoplay comes up and what you want to choose, you may have more than one choice on yours. The choice you want to make is open folder to view files. Okay, um, So left click on that and what opens up is a little window that shows me the contents of this disk. Okay, Now, some Dakotas just come straight to a root directory here that have all the different file formats some of them you have to hit a number first and there'll be like a little folder this little yellow symbol means it's a folder so there'll be a number maybe like uh, if it's a design collection it'll be nine like this one if this one had that were like that it would be there'd be a folder that said nine seven oh four five oh and then inside that folder would be these different formats but what these are is the different formats so these are ART designs so a Bernina user would use these CSD I have no idea who uses that DST is commercial EXP is Bernina Melco HUS is old Viking JEF is Janome and so on so uh, we use baby locks so who cares about all these other formats the format that we use is PES so what you want to do is double left click on your PES folder and that'll bring up a list of all the designs Okay, so here's all the designs, and what I want to do is select all of them at once. I want to have every one of these designs here highlighted. And the quickest way to do that is with a keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut for select all is to hold down the control key and the A key. So I just hit control and A, and look, all my designs are now lit up blue. That means they're all highlighted. And I want to copy these files. Now, there's a million ways to do this, so if you have another way that you already like to do it, just do it your way, that's fine. Um, but I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut again, and the keyboard shortcut for copy is Control-C. So I've just hit Control-C, nothing happens on my screen, um, but what I've done is just made a copy of all these that's ready to be pasted into another directory. Now, the next thing I need to do is navigate to my USB flash drive. And if you're in Windows Vista or Windows 7, you should have a little scrolly thing on this side. And I don't remember whether XP has this or not. Um, if it does, then great. Scroll down to where it says your USB drive or removable disk. Most of them are going to be called removable disk. This one is called USB drive. I think somebody renamed it to USB drive. But it'll be removable disk or USB. Or if it's you've got some weirdo USB drive that has a weirdo name and you're not sure which one it is, um, just unplug it from the back of your, of your computer and see which one of these things disappears and plug it back in uh, and when it comes back you'll know that's your USB drive so anyway when you figure out which one your USB drive is double click on that or actually it looks like you just left click once on it mine is empty I'm using a brand new empty USB drive okay so here when we're on our USB drive it'll either show all the stuff that's in it or if it's empty it'll just show this folder is empty and what I want you to do is either go up to if you see a thing that says new folder right here you're gonna left click that if you don't see one like um, I don't know if XP has it or not because I haven't used it in so long if you don't see a new folder button you're gonna right click somewhere in this white area and choose new folder okay and if I had just hit this it would do the exact same thing so either way works and what you wanna do is name the folder something that 
will let you know what the design pack is. So this design pack that I happen to have here is Christmas Lace. So that's what I'm going to call it. Christmas Lace. Okay. And there we go. Now, by default, when you create a new folder, you can just start typing. If you accidentally clicked off and the thing is just named new folder, you can go back and rename it. If you right click on it and scroll all the way down to where it says rename, that will let me go back and, and keep typing the name in. So if you accidentally click off and you can't type in the name anymore, that's how you go back and rename it. But anyway, once you have your, your folder named for your pack of designs, now remember, you want to name it whatever your pack of designs is, not Christmas Lace, like my pack of designs. Once you have it, double click on the folder again, and then you're going to hit the Control key, and this time V as in Victor. That is the keyboard shortcut for paste. So Control V. Now my designs are in this folder named Christmas Lace on my USB drive. I can take this USB drive out and plug it into my Illissimo, my uh, Elegante, my Elagio, my Sophia, my Lord, whatever I have, and when I go to open up, I hit the little USB symbol on my on my sewing machine, and the the folder will come up, and it'll say what it'll actually say on my on my um, sewing machine is Christma, and then a little tilde one because for whatever reason the machines can only read like eight characters or something like that, but um, that's as good as we can get um, until. Maybe one day they'll make it so that it'll display the entire folder name, but for right now, it's good enough to figure out what folder is what. Um, so anyway, that's that's pretty much the process for transferring your designs, and that, that process works no matter where your designs are stored. You just need to know where they are. So if they were on my C drive, I'd go to you know my, my folder where the designs are on my C drive instead of on a CD. Um, but this will at least let you copy designs off of any Dakota design pack and many others as well. Um, so anyway that's at the end of the video. Um, if you have any questions or specific concerns about how to do this with a particular type of design, um, leave a comment and I'll look at it and see if I can't answer your question. Um, so I'll see you in the next video. Thanks!